busy day in the college ranks for UTEP and NMSU, but we still have some high school football to talk about. Only one team from El Paso was left in the state playoffs. The Canotillo Eagles taking on Abilene Wiley in the Sweet 16 of the 5A Division II playoffs. This game going down in Fort Stockton this afternoon. Rachel Phillips was on the sidelines for this one. Pick things up here in the second quarter. Eagles down six to nothing. Handoff to LJ Martin and he'll put Canotillo on the board with that touchdown run. Game tied at six apiece because the extra point was blocked. Then right before the half, Canotillo's Jeremiah Knox going to hook up with Martin in the end zone. Canotillo takes the 12 to 6 lead at the half. Then in the third quarter, Wiley from the one, KJ Long quarterback sneak. Bulldogs up 13 12. But Canotillo will answer. It's Martin again, carrying a bunch of defenders with him. Eagles back on top, 18 to 13. But a big mistake right here is they're going to go for two. And uh, yeah, we got a loose ball right here. And Wiley with the scoop and the score. Bulldogs going to get two points out of that. And Gano Theo has just a three point lead at this point, 18 to 15. Then in the fourth quarter, Wiley in scoring position and long, scrambling, looking. He'll just take it himself. He's going to pick up the house call here to put the Bulldogs back on top, 21 to 18. Last chance. For the Eagles right here on fourth down and nothing doing on that play a valiant effort by the Canotillo Eagles but they fall short in this one 21 to 18 the final so a heartbreaking end to the season for the Canotillo Eagles but nothing for them to be ashamed of as ABC 7's Rachel Phillips filed this report from Fort Stockton today. That's right, Adrian, the Eagles falling agonizingly short of qualifying for the Elite Eight. This is their second time in consecutive years making it to the Sweet 16. They were looking to go one further, but in the end, three points separating Abilene Wiley and the Canateo Eagles. And really, those three points, well, they could have been found on special teams. The three conversions after the three touchdowns all falling just short. That was where this game was won and lost. We had our chances. I, you you can't complain about our kids' effort. They they toe to toe, you know, with probably somebody they shouldn't have been with. You know, they outsized us. They, you know, and I thought our kids did a great job. Nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. And it couldn't have been a Sweet 16 showing from the Canateo Eagles without star Stanford commit LJ Martin. The running back rushed for two touchdowns, caught another touchdown, as well as rushed for just a ton of yards on the day, leading the Canateo Eagles in this charge, attempting to get them into the Elite Eight. He's a player that will not only be remembered by his teammates, but of course by his coaching staff as well, and will always have an impact on this Canateo Eagles team. We really overachieved, you know. I'll um, be honest, my expectations, they weren't really high with this team. You know, I was maybe second round best, you know, but, you know, we came out one last week and then we had a great opportunity to win in this one. We just couldn't close it out. LJ's been with us since the fourth game of his freshman year. And, you know, he's just a, he's just a unique individual, you know, a, um, straight A student. Yes, sir. No, sir. Um, a leader, um, you know, treats every kid on the team like you'd never know walking in the hall at school that LJ is... You know, a D1 recruit, he's just a normal kid going to his classes. For LJ and the rest of the senior class, their football here with Canatigo comes to an end. LJ now looking ahead to Stanford. Meanwhile, the rest of the Canatigo Eagles look ahead to next season where they will try to get to back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Sweet 16 showings and even go one better with the Elite Eight. For now reporting from Fort Stockton, Rachel Phillips, ABC7. Well, let's turn to the hardwood now. The NMSU Aggies were looking to make it back-to-back -back wins at a tournament in Las Vegas, taking on UC Irvine tonight. NMSU really struggled.